chocolate lovers, welcome to Chocolate TV episode number 63. Uh, and uh, I've got two chocolates here, both from South America. Uh, one from uh, uh, a Spanish manufacturer uh, called Chocovit. And uh, the origin unico it's uh, Cacao Criollo uh, from Mexico, uh, Soconusco. Criollo beads from Mexico, 71% uh, cocoa, uh, limited edition uh, from Chocovic, a uh, nice Spanish manufacturer. And the other one, uh, Montezuma, that sounds uh, actually very Mexican too, but it's uh, Montezuma chocolates, uh, English manufacturer, and this is uh, Criollo and Trinitario beans from Peru. Peru? From Peru. And it's 70% cocoa. This one is organic. Certified organic. And it's cocoa mass, cocoa butter, sugar and some vanilla. And soy. In both of them, yes. So, what? Switch side, uh, always start with the lower cocoa can uh, when tasting, and let's see. And these two uh, South American chocolates pair off, or actually face off. You know by now? Oh, that's a large piece. You know by now? Uh, tasting chocolate is mm, no different from uh, tasting wine. Uh, First of all, you look at the color. This is a sweet wine. And then you sniff it, scent it. You can even air it and then do another. Nice bouquet. And then you taste it in your mouth. Uh, you can do that with chocolate too. Look at the color. This one. Dark, dark brown with a slightly reddish tone. Nice shine to it. Uh, good structure of the crystals in the chocolate bar. Very clean break. And then you sniff it. Oh, you got some red berries, you got some dark, dry <coughs> cocoa, cacao. Also got some, uh, some sort of spice, uh, very mild spice. Cinnamon, cumin. Something like that, hard to pinpoint. Um, obviously, you cannot stir a chocolate, uh, but you can sniff it differently. Uh, first off, just a little like that. Second time, do the long inhale. You might find something at the end there of that long inhaling. This time I find a little touch of salt. Well, that's it, and then you try it. First off, nice fruity acidity, almost of mature red ra raspberries, ripe red currants, not the sour acid red currants, or more like overripe. Dry, nice mid palate, dry feel of the cocoa. A 
real fruity chocolate actually. And at the end almost a, a tone of, of a marmalade, red fruit marmalade. All that paired with that very very dry cocoa. It's a small fly irritating. Very dry cocoa. Actually, it dries out your tongue quite heavily. Or dryly, I should say. Huh? A nice chocolate, very nice fruity chocolate. Uh, lots of um, acidity and fruit going on. Uh, I like it. Uh, this is a clear 8 in my book. 8 out of 10. Let's go on with a Chocovic. 71%. Criollo beans, that was Criollo and Trinitario beans from Peru. This is Criollo beans from Mexico. From Mexico. This one. This one. Also a nice dark, dark brown with a reddish hint. Uh, and that reddish hint is typical of a Criollo bean. So if you got a chocolate with a high cocoa count but still kind of red you can count on it and there's some Criollo in it. So, also nice shine, good break, good crystal structure in the mold. So, let's sniff that, this one up. More uh, dry cedar box character, that dark chocolate. There are some hints of acidity on this nose too. This is more like yellow fruit than red fruit. Still a, a, a sour component. Well, let's uh, taste this one. A little more, more, a little more oily at the start. A little bit more sugar. Uh, high viscosity due to that that oiliness. The, the previous chocolate was more like really light and dry. There is some nice acidity. Also red fruit actually. Maybe with a hint of lime and a small, small streak of white pepper. And the longer the chocolate lingers in my mouth, the more acidic and lime-like it becomes and the chocolate, the dark chocolate flavor actually disappears. And just at the end, it comes back with that nice, uh, dry, almost tobacco feel that chocolate often has. High cocoa count. High cocoa count chocolate often has some tobacco feel to it. This one is a nice chocolate too. I give this one a 7. Uh, and uh, do they pair with the wine? No, let's try. Uh, this is the wine. Spanish, Don PX. Uh, made of Pedro Jimenez grapes. Uh, high viscosity and high alcohol. I think it was 17%. Got a beautiful, beautiful fig nose. Lots of fig and raisins in this one, and it's thick, really thick. You can see it. I don't know, my camera is not that good, but it's like clinging like syrup. 
on the glass. Just a fantastic nose of figs and raisins. A little bit of alcohol heat in the back. So let's try the Montezuma 70%. With these red berries and quite dry character. This wine is a, a humongous sugar rush and it actually destroys the acidity. Though it's a very acidic, nice red berry chocolate, this is, sorry, I gotta coat you, boom, it gone is the chocolate flavor. Now it comes back when I've swallowed some of the wine and evaporated in my mouth. See how it's with the other chocolate, the Chocovic, the Mexican, which had a little more sugar and a little more creamy aspect to it. This actually pairs better with its uh, almost little lime-like citrus feel and a little more sweetness. This humongously sugary wine cannot coat it as and destroy the palate as easy. So this is a much better pairing. And now then, if you're a sucker for sugar, this is a dessert wine that goes tremendously with chocolate desserts, actually. Went very well with that Mexican bean chocolate. Well, I think that will be enough today, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.